guys. It's pouring outside. No better time to chill out inside the comforts of your vehicle and review a pizza. So I'm at Round Pizza. It's not an old place. It's been here for a couple years, maybe two years. Known for being one of the best pizzas in Staten Island. That's what everybody tells me. My friend loves this pizza. Everyone loves it. Everybody loves it. Here we go, round pie. When you look at this pizza, it, it takes your breath away. It really does. It just takes your breath away. It has, uh, it has its own character, its own look, and there's nothing quite like it, uh, in my mind, in terms of the pattern of the sauce, the way the sauce is splotched on, the thinness of the crust, the texture of the crust, and uh, just the way it looks, uh, pretty much. So we're going to grab one here, guys. We're going to grab one. Uh, I wouldn't call this New York-style pizza. This is not New York-style pizza. The slices are way too small. This is more of a tavern bar-type pizza. We're going to start with a vertical test because that's what we do now. We start with a vertical test. Now, you see that oil dripping? The color of that oil is green. All right? So you don't even want to... You don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose that. Because it's good oil. All right. Let's give it a fold. I like that. I like that. Nice crackling on the fold. Crackling sounds. Just as expected. No flop. None. On the carriage. Nice brown. No char. Gas oven. Uh, but let's see how it tastes. Okay. That's delicious. Mm. That basil's not bad. Lots of sauce. Lots of sauce. Lots of cheese. Typically on a thin crust, you don't get that. You don't get all that cheese and sauce, you know? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This slice was fantastic. Now, if you go watch the bar stool review, it's very easy to discern that the guy from Boston was being a prick, like he always is, because he had to wait for the pie, so he was being a prick, and the owner of this place was bragging about his product, calling it one of the best pizzas in the world. The owner said it deserves to be a nine. And so the guy from Boston got pissed off and he, he docked points like he said he, like he admitted he would. Look at those puddles of olive oil. I saw him drizzling it on it. It's green. Look at that oil. It's green. You see that oil right there? You see that? That's extra virgin olive oil. He was using good oil. Really good oil. The sauce was delicious. It had a subtle sweetness to it. There was no sourness to it at all. No acidity detected. Really delicious. Simple. No spices. No oregano. Nothing like that. Just the basil on top. Uh, the sauce is a really good premium sauce. Uh, I don't know if it's San Marzano or not, but I can say that it is way above average than what you usually get. And there's a lot of it on it, as well as the cheese. The cheese is abundant from the tip to the very back end. Take a look at that oil, man, that delicious olive oil, and you really taste it. It's a pretty good cheese, and look at that char marks, guys. There is some char, after all. This is a wonderful pizza. But you see those little blisters, very reminiscent of Danino's. This is, this is a crust that I would compare to Danino's. That's how delicious it is. See that? This crust is superb. When it comes to thin crust pizza, absolutely superb because it's very thin, as you can see. It's very thin, but there's also... It's also very airy and light. You see all those holes? See all those pockets? See that? It's got some airiness to it, which I love. And that's because he keeps that dough. He lets it sit for 24 hours. Most of the time with thin crust pizzas, 
They crack like breadsticks. You know, there's evidence of sugar. It makes me believe that they put sugar in the dough. Not this, guys. This is a really good airy crust. It's absolutely delicious. Pizza gets cold. We give it another fold. Will it flop? Pizza's cold. Still does not lose its integrity. I must add, his basil, this is really good basil. Very aromatic. You can smell it. You can smell it. All right, guys. My mind is made up. That pizza was delicious. And it's an absolute 8-3. Absolutely an 8.3 out of 10. Good, good ingredients. A 24-hour dough. Crispy, airy. Not only crispy, but an airy crust. It's thin, but there is a little bit of airiness to it. Some flakiness. And that sauce is absolutely wonderful, guys. Enough said. Fresh, no sourness, delicious. Cheese was a mediocre, low moisture cheese. Nothing too special about it, but it's not a greasy low moisture cheese. And that's really important, guys. And his basil was fragrant, topped with a little bit of grated cheese. Can't ask for anything better than that. To me, if a pizza is going to be an eight, you got to have some of that hard Parmigiano Reggiano on there. You bet, I better see some puddles of green olive oil on that pizza. Or you're not getting the eight. This pizza had all those things. This pizza gets the eight three. Eight three, round pie, Staten Island. If you're on Staten Island, come on down to this joint right down the street from Joe and Pat's. Joe and Pat's is literally down the street. But unlike this place, this place is a slice joint. You don't want to go to Joe and Pat's and get a whole pie. You just want a quick little snack head down the street come on down round pie baby round pie delicious one of the best on the island eight three hope you guys enjoyed the review and i will talk to you guys in the comment section i'm sure of it be well until next time this is antonio signing off <music>